Here's a review I've seen a lot of, and I've been dying to try this out. Matir Premier, is that how you say it? <laughs> hey, Fragrance family, I'm David. I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a review of this right here, this line, and I'm guessing this is Matir Premier, just because it looks like it rhymes. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. It's funnier when I don't look. <laughs> this is a line that I've seen a lot of rumblings on online, and it's new to me. They recently sent me this set, this sample set of several from their line, so we're gonna go over this entire set. This is a really nice set. I think this is really cool. Of course, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe down below. I think you'll love it here. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the reviews. Now, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to pronounce this Matir Premier, even though that may be the wrong pronunciation. Now, this is a pretty new company that started in 2019. They currently have 11 fragrances in their line. This Discovery set is pretty cool, and it has six of their fragrances. Not everything, but I think it covers a wide variety of what they offer. A nice little cross-section. This Discovery set is really nice as well. Very interesting with the screw-on caps as well as the additional atomizers that they put in here. Pretty cool. Now, these are Eau de Parfum and Strength. They all last a long time on me pretty good performance and this isn't going to be a detailed review of every fragrance but it is going to be an overview of the line starting with the first one here and this one is Bois de Bonnet. now this to me smells like a beautiful citrus woody scent that is so good and so easy to wear oddly enough there's no citrus in the notes but I definitely get a strong citrus at the start I get that citrus top with a buttery woody note the name means ebony wood and I do think that it's in that ballpark of ebony but not quite exact it has that oily vibe that ebony notes can have in fragrances, and I think that's pretty cool, and it is definitely interesting in this fragrance. The initial idea was a dark ambery wood, and I think it's a pretty good representation of that. Additional notes are guaiac, patchouli, juniper, and cypriol. This is pretty strong on me, actually really strong, and I think it's really good as well. I think this is really wearable and really likable. The blend is kind of tight feeling where you can't really pick out any notes, but I think that's okay. Overall, I like this one a lot. Next is Cologne Cedrat. Now this is a very good classical hard citrus scent, I would say. Very rindy and acidic, juicy and sour, especially at the start. The initial idea was a citrus that lasts, and it's definitely a citrus, and it does last, but it's not as beastly as maybe the idea might insinuate. Notes in this are black pepper, pink pepper, bergamot, and mate, and as it dries, the rindiness kind of softens into maybe more of a softer floral type of citrus scent, which I also really like, and then a nice tea facet accord comes out, which I think is really beautiful. It's a really good citrus, but it's not really unique, I would say. There are other citrus notes that smell similar, and maybe this is stronger, but it's not any different in scent overall. Still very good though, and I would wear this any day of the year. Next is Santal Austral. Now this is obviously a sandalwood scent, and I think this is okay. It's not the best sandalwood scent I've tried, but I do like it, and I like that it's somewhat simpler and not as dense as many other sandalwood scents I've tried in the past. The initial idea was a sensual white wood, <laughs> insert penis joke here. <laughs> Notes are iris, sandalwood, tonka bean, benzoin, and an almond milk facet. I like that additional almond milk facet in here, and I think it kind of adds a nice softness and sweetness to it that kind of gets me in the ballpark of maybe Santal Masoya by Hermes. Overall, this is a sandalwood, and it's okay. Doesn't blow me away, but it's still pretty nice. Next is Radical Rose. Now, the world doesn't need another rose scent, but here we go. It's good. It's a rose scent. It's pretty good. The initial idea was an overdose of Rose Absolute, and it is a pretty intense rose. Notes in this are Rose Centifolia, Saffron, Pepperberries, Patchouli, and Labdanum. I get a lot of Rose in this. A lot, a lot. And then a lot of Patchouli as well. And then also a noticeable Saffron. It's a good Rose scent if you like Rose, but again, I don't think it offers anything that really sets it apart from normal Rose Patchouli scents out there. It's just slightly different. It's still very well done, but maybe just not as unique as I would hope. Next is Incense Suave. Now this is spectacular. Now normal incense fragrances I find are pretty boring, but this is just special. I love the twists and turns with the notes. The initial idea was a black incense, addictive and carnal. I don't know what that means, but okay. It's incense with other notes of labdanum, benzoin, coffee, and vanilla, which is a very unique lineup of notes here for an incense fragrance. You definitely get the incense, and there are some sweet notes in there, and even an evergreen note, kind of like balsam fir. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the best incense fragrances I've tried in a long time. Last on the list here is falcon leather. This is a pretty unique leather with a funky side. The main idea was to create a leathery scent inspired by falconer's gloves, which 
I find oddly specific, it's definitely leathery. Unfortunately, I have no idea what Falconer's gloves smell like to compare. I get leather, like new leather, like fresh leather, and it's nice. I also get a slight dank funkiness, almost like a marijuana note, even though that's not in the notes. The notes being leather, saffron, labdanum, birch tar, benzoin, and oud. As far as leathers go, it's very photorealistic. Maybe not super unique, even though it does have kind of a funky side to it and a pretty interesting comparison to Falconer's gloves, but it is still very good. If you like those kind of very photorealistic leather gloves, leather jacket type scents, this might be for you. I like it. Overall, I think the line is pretty good. It's well done, they last a long time, and there's definitely quality in the notes, but I just don't find that overall it's very unique. Like these are all token fragrances that someone might put in a line. A rose patchouli scent, a leather scent, a sandalwood scent, an incense scent, etc. Still pretty good, I just don't find it very creative. But here are my top three. First is Incense Suave. I think this is amazing. As far as incense fragrances go, this is incredible. Next is Bois de Bonnet, which I think is a very wearable, woody scent. Really great, and creamy, very nice. And last is Cologne Cedrat. I love citrus scents in general. This one is not unique in any way, but I would wear this any day of the week. Overall, it's still worth trying though, so definitely check them out. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. So that's all I have. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros.